Welcome guys. Today we will be taking a look at Jerkfast Imperial and how to defend against it. It will be a recent 1v1 rated game against Doubt Drug Mirror. So let's take a look at it. So first of all, Jerk Mirror is a bit special because uh, you don't rely only on other units, but you can also go for a Janissary in Cast Ledge. So you will see that it's a bit different, but it will have very similar traits to a normal fast aim by Jerks and to a normal defense by any civilization in the game. You can see that the first thing, and that's very important, uh, that there is quite a long distance between the players. The longer the distance uh, is between the players, the easier it is to defend an, any aggressive strategy and the uh, tougher it is to pull it off. So that's one thing that you always need to keep in mind. How far are we? Um, how, what is the distance between the players? And play accordingly. And there we'll see that I have quite a good map. We don't really need to care about Toad's map because he will be the one uh, very aggressive. Uh, we have very good defensive goal spot and other great defensive goal spot, so I'm very pleased with that. We have some nice wood lines. No worries there. Only kind of important issue for us is that we have forward stone, uh, which isn't perfect, but at the same time, um, it, it won't really make that much difference in this game. So I'm very, very happy with my map there. You will see that the doubt will go there for Janissary in Castle Age, and then will basically transition into Fast Imp. It will be therefore way slower Imp uh, than if he would go just straight away Fast Imp, but at the same time um, he will be uh, starting to push with more control, so it's kind of uh, kind of similar, uh, in, like if he would be going just for fast imp. Okay, as you can see, I will go on stone. Turk four, you always want to open with Janissary. You always want to be opening with Janissary. Uh, you will see that Dode is doing absolutely the same. Dode is going for twenty six plus 2, 26 population up and then uh, 2 villages in feudal age. I'm going for 27. Just already a bit, a bit different approach, I will be going up with more eco, doubt will be up with let's say more uh, more pressure because he will start to produce his genocide faster. So both of us are using two lumber camps, uh, that should be Doubt going Blacksmith's Market, I'm going for Blacksmith's Market, there we go. So far, as you can see, um, I, I see where Doubt is, uh, so I see that there is quite a long distance between us. And I know that rushing, even though Trucks are a great civilization to rush with, uh, won't be as easy. Therefore, I'm taking more of a defensive approach, I want to make Janissary in Castle Age anyways, even just for the relics, but then I want to transition into boom. Doubt is having different approach there. Okay, once we reach the castle, edge, we will slow down. Doubt is now heavily on stone because he was going there later, so he just wants to make sure that he will have 650 stone. Okay, and now he's dropping the defensive castle. I'm in right now, I will drop the defensive castle as well. Uh, Doubt is building it with 8 villages, I'm only using 4 for it. So I'm having more villages working at the same time. Doubt will have the castle obviously faster, which will allow him to get a bit more pressure, potentially some more relics and such. Okay. Uh, now I want to get some, some relics, Doubt ones as well, that's never bad. Uh, and we are going for heavy map control unit, Chinese Amazing unit for map control, so we both of us are aiming to get some relics from this. I have this one really close, I should get it. This one quite close to me, I should get it as well. This one potentially a bit closer to me as well, I can get it on, on top of it, and I should get those two relics for sure. 
Yeah, already with the first Janissary out, as you can see, I'm just now finishing the castle. So, as I said, Doubt will have more map control for now. But I'm fine with that, I'm uh, going for second TC instead, very soon. Doubt is heavily on farms. This is what you need to do in this situation. Doubt will need a lot of food because he's not only he's producing Janissary, but he wants to click Imp in uh, uh, quite soon. While for me, I'm a bit more on wood and, and other resources because for me, I mainly want to get TCs now. So already difference in the approaches. At this point, Doubt knows that he wants to go fast Imp. I know that I want to boom. Good first engagement for us. Uh, getting there uh, one one Janissary, although we had three verse four. Whereas sweet, we already grabbed the first relic, Doubt is now getting the second relic. As you can see, he got the relic even from there, which was closer to us, so well done Doubt. Yeah, and this is the important part, Doubt, and I really disliked it. Doubt, instead of uh, being still on stone, and making second castle later on, forward, he completely abandoned the stone, which will allow him to get faster imp time, but at the same time he will be playing without forward castle. And playing without forward castle is so so dangerous, if you are going for one TC push. We will see later on why. Okay, there another engagement, that would go there a kill against, uh, against my monk, which is a bit sloppy by me. But at the same time, again, better engagement for us. Uh, you can see the Doubt has there two were injured. Janissary, we are kind of more full HP. And we will get this relic in the end as well. So for now we are trading a bit better than Doubt. We only lost the Monk and Light Cap while Doubt is losing two Janissary. Which is more important right now. As you can see I'm 1 TC, 2nd TC, 3rd TC coming up right now. Uh, 21 minutes, that's not too late considering that we had to keep spamming Janissary basically all uh, castle age. But now we are transitioning into full boom basically. We don't really care about relics anymore. Uh, because we will get two, that already got the three. And uh, we now need to invest resources into booming rather than making more Janissary. So I'm already 5 villages ahead and Doubt will go Imp quite soon. He will, clip in, he will click Imp in like 2 minutes because he has 20 villages on, on food now, he's already on 400 food and uh, yeah, he's balancing his economy now quite a bit, so he will click Imp quite soon. So at this point Doubt with more map control because of the unit, so he's there more Janissary and uh, I'm having way better economy. This will then mean Doubt needs to push, Doubt will have to play aggressive and I will, uh, is it all, it's all about if I can defend against this push. If I can defend I win because I have a, I have better economy behind it, if Doubt uh, kills me then he obviously wins the game. As you can see Doubt is staying on 1 TC, he won't add 2nd TC, he doesn't even have the stone for it, as, as we said, and he's still going for full Genesare and BBC. Uh, he will get BBC right away, he's, uh, he's in him. And that's honestly another thing I dislike about it, about uh, Doubt's play. If you are going 1 TC aggression, then you need to, you need to make the Siege Workshop forward. Because Doubt will be pushing only with BBC, and uh, by the time that those BBC will reach the castle and attack it, they're just taking way, way too long. So th there should be forward siege workshop for Doubt, not not defensive one. Doubt is still only 60% imp, and as you can see, I'm already 20 villages ahead. But it's still far from over. Uh, at this point, Doubt has stronger army, he will be able to produce BBC, which I want, so he should be taking better engagements now. Yeah, and as you can see, I realized that Doubt is going Imp based on the score, and that's why I'm switching. So I'm going for stables, and I'm going for Masked Knight against uh, Janissary, which is the, basically the best defense. Also, even though that I have less numbers than Doubt, 
I have 16 versus 22 right now on the field. I don't, don't want to give out full map control with that and I was just active with this group of Chenisri, you know, moving there, trying to snipe reinforcements and such and such. I will do it a couple, couple more times in this game. And Doubt, even though he mm, got into my base, he cannot he cannot really go in because he can get trapped there and that could be very ugly for him. Yeah, that was great engagement for me once again. Well, not really great because I lost their two Genesary from one one volley, but yeah. All those are quite injured. We killed their three versus two, so again, very happy about that result. For the village lead for us, Doubt is going for BBC. As I said, really dislike it. The, the Siege Workshop had to be forward. I would even prefer if there would be forward castle for Doubt. He would be slower to aim because he would be forced to stay with more on stone. Or he would be stay, uh, forced to stay on stone, but I still think it would be the better decision. And that's the important part, because for now Dode still cannot do anything to me. Dode has their Janissary, I have as well, he has higher numbers, it's completely fine with me. Uh, he even has plus two on them, I have only plus one, that's also fine with me, but I'm getting the knight numbers out. And that, that's what matters. Yeah, and now we are basically... I, I know the Doubt will push, I know the Doubt will bring Siege here and he will attack the castle. There is no other way, he, he cannot uh, push w without killing the castle, so it's obvious that he has to kill the castle, first of all. So I know that I have time, by the time the Doubt kills the castle and starts pushing forward. By the time I can still keep messing my army. So I'm on 3 stables right now, uh, I'm also 40 villages up, compared to Doubt. And... I'm just spamming knights. Having their plus one plus one armor upgrades or attack upgrades aren't as important there against Genesare, so uh, we mainly want to invest just into knight numbers. I'm repairing there, this is just for me to buy time. I know that I will lose the castle in, in uh, some, some time, but yeah, still getting there solid at least minute. Uh, to keep massing my army, I'm very, very pleased with that. I could already engage this one, but I wouldn't be too sure about it at this point. Dota has still higher numbers than me, he can get some good BBC shots, so it wouldn't really make sense to engage at this point. Maybe I would save the castle, maybe I would kill the BBC, but at the same time, this is the safer approach. Yeah, so I will just wait for my numbers. I, I know that at this point, I'm spamming stronger army than Doubt is, is adding. So, uh, if we wait there for 5 more minutes, I know that I will have so much stronger army than him. If we would engage now, it's possible that Doubt has a stronger army. So, the longer we wait there for the fight, the better it is for us. And it's not really scary for us. At this point, Doubt isn't killing too much. He's only killing the castle, which is crucial, we don't like it. But we have the eco still, and that's the important part. If we have the eco, if Doubt isn't pushing into the eco, or into gold spots, or farm eco as such, we are completely fine with this push. Yeah, and there again I'm doing, I would say, a very good decision. We know that Doubt will, has to be sniping, uh, has, no sniping, we will be sniping. Doubt is sending reinforcements, even moonwalking. Uh, Doubt is sending reinforcements forward. Very nice, uh, very nice catch there by Doubt. I think he won't lose this Bombard Cannon. But yeah, we are still forcing this Genesary to stay defensive. Those Genesary will now stay defensive. They won't be part of the fight, this BBC will stay defensive, we even got their kill, so uh, that's very good for us. If you cannot snipe, if you cannot kill the army, try to be on the reinforcements and try to kill, get kills there. And what will happen now, I have already stronger army, I, I have more numbers, Dode even has some numbers here which are useless at this point, and we will be taking a fight there. And Zippel and Knights work really well there against Janissary. It's important for us to not lose those Janissaries in the back, because they are the ones doing a lot of DPS. Knights are taking all the all the fire from the Janissaries, but they have a lot of HP. And behind this we still have 16 Janissaries, which are all doing a lot. Without those Janissaries, for example, this could be kind of okay to fight for Doubt. With those Janissaries, Doubt would always get melted there. Yeah. So, that's basically it, because uh, at this point, I, I even stopped the world production for a while. I just wanted to make sure that I get the most knights uh, out, as, enough knights uh, 
out as fast as possible. I know that it doesn't really matter if I have 10 more villages now, but I have 5 less knights that can be way worse for, for me. So what matters now is to clean this push. It's obvious that I have big eco lead anyways and once we kill this push uh, the game is basically over. Because at this point I cannot really push anymore. Uh, we have just so much more numbers. We will just keep adding eco now and we can click soon. We can click imp quite soon. However, we still want to wait with the imp. We know that the hood has to be pushing. If you are so behind in eco, you have to keep pushing. So, or, or kind of resign, that would be also uh, not a better option there for doubt. But at this point, we simply. And we know that the only way how we lose this game is not if Doubt adds now free TCs and catches us in the boom, but it's if he's now getting the numbers, if he keeps spamming. You can see that Doubt is now getting hand cannons, so it won't be only from Castle, uh, Janissary, but he will also keep adding hand cannons and BPC. So he's still doing strong army, and we can lose the game still. We definitely can lose the game if he would stop adding army, and if he would try to get imp or such. Because then we would have better eco, but Doubt can get the position here and that could be tricky for us. But if we keep adding army, if we keep adding knights, then we are in fine position because we will always take, take good fights and uh, Doubt will never push us. And we will get imp in some time, but we, we don't need to worry about imp. We still have so much better eco. Why would we get imp? As long as we defend, then we are completely fine. Yeah, again, Doubt has their group of uh, Janissary, which was going forward. He cannot do it, because I have there just so many knights. And if I keep spamming knights, then Doubt cannot take ever good engagement. Saving that moon, he's getting there one conversion, but it absolutely doesn't matter. I am one, four, five, yeah, five stables right now. And now I'm again getting a defensive castle there. Why not? It's a good protection. Doubt again needs to bring a lot of siege. He needs to stay there with the siege for like 3 minutes to kill the castle. By the time I will definitely kill his push. So yeah, this is the castle just again for me for the protection. I can even keep adding some Janissary again because they are really good for the TPS as we said. And we have there just so many knights at this point. 39 knights, 4 light cast. This is an army that I can never match. I have there double the, um, double the numbers and that's how you play against fast team. Uh, if you get to a lot of knight numbers, then you will just kill all the push. Hand cannons R and BBC aren't amazing against knights. If you play with them well, and uh, this is how you do it. So if we would move it to like normal game, we are killing there everything. Uh, again, like great engagement for us. Uh, as um, Doubt cannot do anything at this point. If I keep adding knights, Doubt cannot do anything. If I would stop adding knights, Doubt could do something. Let's put it this way. So that's why I'm, I keep adding knights. Um, I even saw Doubt like on you, uh, Doubt on Twitch after, and uh, when I was watching the game from his point of view, and he was saying that this is uh, like textbook defense against uh, third fast team, and also that he liked the decision to keep adding knights in, in that position, so he's never getting the control anymore yeah and once again as i said Dode was in there like 26 minutes but he had better eco and also he had relics and also he had uh quite some janissary numbers in castle so he could be pushing right away so the push isn't really that much slower than what he would get if he would go for straight fast aim and also he obviously forced me into a lot of defense because Doubt had a still very powerful unit in Castle Age when he was going for full Genesera basically and I had to react to it. So my boom also wasn't as it would look like if I would be uh, just booming and waiting for his fasting. But in hindsight that's it. Um, you try to go for the night numbers. You try to, you want to stay in Castle Age. Stay in Castle Age Problem is, if you get forward castle, you kind of need rams at this point, and that can start to be a bit tricky. But the trick is to stay in castle age and go for full cavalry. That's the base, best option you have. You can even mix in skirmishes, for example, obviously not with Turks. Uh, you can get to CAs, depends on your civilization, but generally I think knights is the best, the best choice you have. Yeah, We will just take there the last big engagement. I know that the game is over for, for a while, so... Um, 
it's not really too interesting uh, last six seven minutes of the game but i just wanted to show you that in the end it was again good decision to keep adding the knights i was i was winning all the engagements there honestly i would win the game even if i would stay full castledge i would just now add some rams and yeah we were just we were just holding there if you have the eco you just need to hold you don't need to push you just need to hold Obviously now I would get Imp, I would transition into CAs, I would get full Hussar, the game would be uh, even, <laughs> would be completely over if uh, it wasn't over by that, but yeah. So basically that's it, you try to counter the first push uh, if opponent is going for the Janissary, otherwise if he's going just for FC, uh, just for fast Imp, you should see it from his uptime, you want to boom, go to 3 TCs, get to like 50-60 villagers, you can even stop the will production at this point and go for full knights at this point. And full knights should kill any uh, fast in push. So that's the play against it and uh, as you can see it worked really well there. We can even mix in some light caps if he has lots of monks. There I was mainly doing it when I was lacking some food but when I was lacking some gold. Uh, I was now even taking the map control. I think one thing that I kind of uh, in the end of the game I realized that I should be doing two petards, ten light calves, boom, here, go in, ten light calves in Dautico, he would be forced to leave there, everything, he would lose their five, ten villages, uh, he would be forced into so much idle time, if, which is tricky. If you are on one TC, you don't want to idle, you need to have your economy as uh, efficient as possible. So we could be raiding a bit more. For example, with the light calves, uh, with some petards would be a good decision, but still, uh, we were completely fine even without doing this. Yeah, ego wise, obviously not comparable. We are 60 villages ahead. David had three relics, we had two, that wasn't real too important. Anyways, uh, that was it, and see you with a new arena tutorial guide.